Do you stand with Mobius? I do. I made my choice. I wasn't alone. Where is everybody? I gotta get out of here. Leslie. Leslie Withers. 
I'm sorry? Kid, I need you focused. I need your attention. This is a serious matter. Everything we do is a serious matter. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'd like to think so, but conviction must be proven with action. As I was saying, your target is Leslie Withers. He's a patient at Beacon Mental Hospital. But he's something more. Simply put, we need him to run our STEM system. Without this asset, our research will mean nothing. I don't understand. We own Beacon. Why not just take him? Our relationship with his advisor, Marcelo Jimenez, has become rather strained. The boy is a leverage piece. Jimenez plans to activate a STEM prototype at Beacon without our permission. Obviously, that's unsuitable. Have no illusions. It will be dangerous. Come, take a walk. The nurses are waiting. come from. If Jimenez activates the system, he'll be pulled in. Hopefully he doesn't. But as a precaution, we've prepared an infusion to prevent contamination. Like a vaccine? To protect me? More accurately, to hide you. We develop STEM, but there is a ghost in the system. Something we call Ruvik. It means to keep us out. This infusion should protect you to some extent. Why send me alone? You won't be alone. You'll be with your team from KPD. You'll get a call on the radio reporting an incident at Beacon. Everything will be arranged. But their consequences of little value. In regards to your mission, they're expendable. Come, sit down. We must have that boy. 
He will enable us to change everything. I'll come back with him. I needn't remind you the consequences for failure. Loyalty is a sensitive subject for us. Trust is such a valued commodity in today's world. So once again, I ask you, do you stand with Mobius? I do. I made my choice. Now you must back up your words with actions. Do not waver. Oh. Now I'm going to count down. And when I'm finished, I'll ask you a series of questions. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now I'd like to ask you some questions. Have you ever felt abandoned by the ones you trusted? going on? Where did everyone go? from the inside. Maybe there's another way in.
Oh, shit. What could have done this? I'm afraid that the fragile mental states of the subjects are limiting our studies. Mobius wants us to move past beacon patients and onto more stable people. They want to get STEM closer to its intended use. Would they see the world in the same way? Would a sane mind weather the psychically draining experience? I had that dream again. I entered the STEM myself. Over here!
Agent status terminated. Authorization invalid. What? Terminated? Maybe I can force it open with the computer. Analyzing data. used its light. This is from before. Leslie, is he really here? Leslie is here. Okay, I gotta get to him before anything else does.
never forget. You're one of us now. Feels so heavy in here. After months of secrets, subterfuge, and indoctrination, they brought me into their fold. This place is elaborate, to say the least. Despite the modernistic visage, the research they have been doing here seems to date back to over a century ago. This place has history, and from what I can grasp, this facility is only one branch of many. Institutions, powerful families, their reach seems grand, and therefore the possibilities for me seem equally as rich. Clearly, my own unique methods at Beacon have piqued their interest, and I am most grateful for the opportunity. Most of what the researchers have been working on, however, seems archaic by today's standards. They told me budget is of no concern. Results are the only thing that matter. Juggling duties here and at the hospital seems manageable, but Reuben, comparatively insignificant, but even at his young age, his studies are remarkable. Perhaps one day he will even assist me with my work here. This is not a negotiation, Dr. Jimenez. We are expected to reach a solution, hence the founding of this facility. I understand that, and I, I appreciate the time you've given me. Time has a limit, and we're approaching that point. If you've outspent your usefulness, we will need to find someone more suitable. Let's not be so hasty. I've done tests with our visual diagnosis. And there is something I must speak to you about. Please, come with me. The projector is in the next room. It's my hypothesis that we haven't succeeded because so far we've only been using visuals, audio stimuli, passive influence, even on my patients with limited mental capacity. This method is rejected by the user. If we are to accomplish what we intend, we will need to refocus. We need direct access. And what do you propose? It's, how shall I say, a pet project of sorts. A mechochemical process. With it, we should be able to have a direct influence on the individual, potentially even access their subconscious. I have the data in the next room. Let me show you. That video. I remember they showed me that when I was brought here.
this research here, this is exactly what we've been looking for. I call it STEM. I'm sure you and your superiors will find this most satisfactory. You mentioned the design was from a pupil of yours. In that case, where do you fit in? He is an unstable individual. Perhaps it is better that I continue to be the one to contact in this situation. I'd like you to bring this man in. We should all be able to have a productive conversation. What did you say his name was? Ruben. Ruben Victoriano. That's where Leslie was before. And now those two, where are they headed? Agent status. Terminated. Please contact biometrics for re-authentication. Find Leslie and bring him back. That's all that matters. Please guide subject to construct facial, hand, and neural profile. I don't think anyone's gonna help me out with this.
and profile constructed. Please complete neural profile to complete authorization. Maybe it's...
by Match's terminated agent, Julie Kinman. Termination reason, insubordination. Profile reinstated, but data sent to Central Mobius for analysis. Insubordination? That doesn't make any sense. Whatever. I should be able to open those doors now. Kidman, Julie, you've assembled quite the resume, I see. They taught you to read at the police academy? I'm impressed. Your attitude won't be necessary today. What is this place? Why am I here? You've been arrested, Miss Kidman, and you're currently being detained. I'm sure even you could decipher that. That's not what I asked. This isn't a regular interrogation room. They don't give you cushy chairs when you're about to be sent to lockup. No current address. On your own since 14, a runaway it seems. Quite impressive you've made it this long without coming to your senses. If your street smarts are that keen, I'd imagine you'd have turned yourself around by now. It's more about survival. You think I'm pissed I got caught? At least I get free food in jail. It's all good to me. What if I told you that today could be different for you? You're a smart kid, you've got nothing to lose, no one to miss you. A person with those qualities could be open to very specific opportunities. What are you saying? You offering me a get out of jail free card or something? Not quite that, but something close. I'm listening.
Patients emerging from the stem are becoming more erratic. The pathologies seem to be amplified by the experience now. Even worse, patients now seem to experience each other's psychological trauma. It's as if the user's deepest fears linger within the encephalon of the system, even after the session is over. The most concerning thing are their most recent statements. Every single patient claims to see a hooded figure slowly approaching them. Could it be him? His consciousness existing as a ghost in the system? My curiosity has never been piqued like this. I want to know. I want to see what they see. But it's too risky. For now. Restoration at 50%. Keeping our facilities clean is appreciated. Our workplace is a fine place because of your support.
Okay, make it convincing. Detectives! I'm here! I'm safe! Sebastian! Joseph! Mobius. So they sent you to take the boy back. And you trust them. Don't kid yourself. You're just as expendable as your partners are. As I was. After all I did for them. <laughs> we'll see how loyal you are when you know the truth. Are you all right? Do you wish to remain in the dark about information that will undoubtedly disturb you?